No money, no ability to get financed. What are we going to do? Are we screwed? Can we still invest in real estate? You bet your ass we can. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today is all about investing with no money and no credit, okay? That's what I'm going to help somebody do today. Eli, you are from the Cleveland area, brother, and you have a small amount of income, right? You have a small amount of income. You have a total of $31,000 uh, to utilize, but you don't even have that liquid, brother. You got twenty grand, and then you got $11,000 you may or may not want to use with a credit card, okay? And uh, you're interested in doing some real estate deals, but uh, with that small amount of funds... And the fact that 11 of it would come from a credit card, brother, buy and hold probably wouldn't work for you because you also told me you, uh, your income or your credit, one of those two, was not up to snuff enough for you to get a long-term loan, right? So you're dealing with a, a very, very small amount of money, right? Essentially 20K in cash, right? Let's just work on that, right? You're dealing with 20K in cash and you can't get a loan from a traditional lender, can I get you a deal? Yes, brother, I can get you a deal. As a matter of fact, the deal I'm thinking about is only going to cost you about a fourth of that $20,000. Then we'll be able to flip that money over and over and over again. Let's get into the details on what I want you to do to get started right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just creating a motivated seller's list using the free software trial I got from Holton Wise TV. Oh my, Steve. Take me out. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Now we gotta get into the nuts and bolts, the meats and potatoes, the, how the sausage is made, boy. As you can tell, I like sausage. Now, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be looking at this particular deal, right? But this deal does not necessarily matter on an individual basis because this is deal is representative of the types of deals I want you to do. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to be wholesaling, okay? Wholesaling, right? The deal is 608 West 23rd, Lorain, Ohio, 44052. It's been on the market for 65 days, priced at 30 grand, because it's jacked, right? This property is jacked, and that's good. That's what we want. We want this property to be totally jacked, right? Here's the outside. You can tell it's pretty well dilapidated. Friggin' no driveway. Crack, cracking on the porch. You know, that little shed's just gross. Inside is just horrendous, right? Basement, totally wrecked, right? I mean, the house is just a freaking disaster, and that's good. That's what we want. We want to focus on disaster houses, right? What's great about this house, what allows us to wholesale this house, is a lot of realtors aren't interested in working with houses like this. Uh, they're not like familiar with how to market to the kind of people that would actually buy houses like this. So, like 99.9% .9 of real estate agents out there, folks, they put properties on the MLS, they deal with buyers and sellers who live in them, right? Well, People can't live in this house, right? The only, only, only way this house ever gets done is if a rehabber buys it, right? So it's a totally jacked house, but that is good, right? What can we do? How can we wholesale this particular house, right? And the first thing we need to address before I even go any further is what a lot of people are teaching you guys about wholesaling right it's not wholesaling okay it's actually brokering real estate which if you are not licensed to be a real estate broker like i am a licensed real estate broker if you're not a licensed real estate broker that is an illegal thing to do you can't uh you can't do it right that 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 works in ohio and most every all 50 states have similar verbiage in their revised code which outlaws brokering real estate without a license right wholesaling 
is not that. But that's what people call wholesaling. That's what all the gurus out there right now are teaching you guys. They're teaching you that brokering real estate is actually wholesaling. No, wholesaling is not even a term that is unique to real estate. Wholesaling is you buy low, you sell high, right? You buy in bulk, you sell high, right? You buy and then you resell it. You buy at wholesale, you resell it. What people are teaching you guys right now, that's not what that is, okay? So uh, we're going to go over this deal, go over some strategy too, but I want to bring your attention uh, to a new course that we put out there, right? It's called Wholesaling 101 because some people might think that I'm actually uh, against wholesaling or don't think that wholesaling is uh, a good business avenue for you guys. No, that's not true. I think wholesaling is awesome, okay? But I think actually wholesaling is awesome. What other gurus are out there teaching you guys is fictitious. It's not wholesaling. It's brokering real estate without a license, which is number one, illegal. Number two, doesn't even work as well as how you should really be doing it, right? So what I did is I put together a course over 10 hours of content, folks, and it ain't yo daddy's wholesale course, right? It ain't one of those ah, fluff jobs where everyone's like, yo, do this, no money, no credit, and then it doesn't actually work, okay? No, 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 no. If you want to actually wholesale in the real world, actually make money, check out my course. I got a link to it in the show notes below. And, of course, it's available on uh, the education tab on HoltonWise.com. So that's like the full overview, right? That'll take you from dude who's got no idea what's going on to a complete wholesaling expert. Not one of those other courses where they're like, do this, do this, do this. And it's like all f just fictitious stuff that either A, doesn't work or B, is illegal, right? I'll keep you safe. I'm an actual licensed real estate broker who sold over $200 million of investment real estate, right? And the tools and strategies I teach you in that course, right? We could utilize those uh, in the real world and on deals like this, right? So we're going to be talking, you know, just hitting on a couple of those points with this property, right? But if you want the full friggin' shebang, get the course. Now, for this one, this is jacked, okay? Is jacked. $30,000, right? $30,000 is what they're asking. They ain't going to get $30,000, okay? This is just slapped on the MLS, not directly marketed to the right type of investors. Doesn't make any sense, right? So what I want you to do is I want you to pick this thing up, but you can't pay any more than $5,000 for it, right? Now, here's the thing. They are currently asking $30,000 for this. Will they accept your offer of $5,000 guaranteed? I cannot tell you that. As a matter of fact, because I do not fluff stuff, I will say the odds are more likely that they will not accept it. But guess what? That's what a lot of gurus and stuff, they don't tell you about wholesaling, right? Wholesaling real estate is a lot about putting out bulk offers, Offering on everything. Remember, buy in bulk, right? Buy low, sell high. You got to put out a ton of offers. You got to do a ton of due diligence on properties. And it's a numbers game, right? Like everyone's always talking about direct mailing and stuff, right? Like wholesaling, again, as I was telling you guys earlier, right? It's taught uh, in a way that it's like brokering real estate, but without a license. Well, guess what? A lot of the marketing is the same, right? So wholesalers are sending out letters similar to how I send out letters. Dude, I send out, I don't know, ten to 30,000 letters every single month to meet motivated sellers, right? To either buy the asset, flip the asset, put the asset on the investment properties for sale show, right? It's all very similar, right? So it's a, it's a buy in bulk uh, numbers type game. So with this one, I know that if you pick this up at five, you're going to be able to make money. And here's how, right? You pick it up at $5,000, right? Now you're going to have to pay closing costs and whatnot, right? So you're looking at about a G on that, right? So you're all in at a $6,000 mark, right? Then I will resell it for you on the investment properties for sale show. I would be able to hit about seventeen grand, right? I wouldn't make the mistake that this particular agent and seller are doing of overpricing it. Nobody's looking at this, right? So if we can get them to take our lowball offer because they think this is just an unsellable asset, right? It's most likely an agent who doesn't know this market, doesn't have a freaking TV show with worldwide investors, can't walk a buyer through a bird deal 
or walk a rehabber through exactly what they need to do. But guess what? Your boy Jay Wise can do all that, right? I can break it all down to where it can make sense for a buyer at the price point of 17000 And I'll do that complete with a video tour and an analysis, right? So I believe I will have a much easier chance at selling it for that price point than this agent would, right? And again, I wouldn't overprice it. I wouldn't throw it out there at 30 k leave it on the MLS and, and pray, right? That's not what I would do, right? You guys know the show. You know the Investment Properties for Sale show, right? I'm as dialed in uh, to the investor base as one can be, right? So I believe I'll be able to sell that for 17 k right? And that, so you guys are aware, right? That's something that's a little different than how other gurus teach you uh, how to do the wholesaling and whatnot, right? They're teaching you to try to, like, put it under a contract and before you even close, already flip it to another buyer. That's not practical. It does take some time. You got to put some effort and some resources into it, right? The only reason I'd be able to sell it for 17 is because I'm going to freaking send an entire video crew, break this thing down, put a big production, right? To think that you could just do it overnight, stuff like that. That's pie in the sky, folks. They're just collecting your money, selling their book or their course, and then they're not actually with you. Right. When it comes time to actually do the deal, which is, again, why ours is different. Right. So click the goddamn link below back to this property. 17 K is what I should be able to sell it for you for right now. Don't forget. Right. It's not just a whole bunch of profit. There's costs. Right. So you have your original six thousand dollar investment, your purchase price of five K, your closing costs of roughly one K. Right. So that's 6000 Now we're selling it. New transaction. Well, guess what? You got to pay again, all right? Another 1000 to the title company. And then, yeah, dude, me putting it on my show, it's great. It's awesome. I got a great show. I got all these investors. But I don't work for free either, okay? So that's going to be about $5,000, right? So between when you bought it and when you sold it, right, you got a total cost of 11995 right? So you pick it up at five. You sell it at 17. After you pay all your costs out the door, you're looking at a gross profit of over $5,000. $5,005 is what we're projecting, right? And you can do the whole thing passively, right? And this is great if you can't get a loan, right? You got a small amount of money, so you just buy flip, right? Buy flip, buy flip, buy flip. But you're flipping it without actually flipping the house because you don't have enough money to do a rehab or maybe you don't want to do a rehab, things of that nature, right? This is a way to get in there, churn and burn your money. Now, Again, though, I can't stress it enough. It's not like we put out 10 offers like this at $30,000 listings and then 10 people are like, yeah, sounds good. No, you're going to get the word no a lot more than yes, right? You're probably going to get the word no like 90% of the time at minimum, right? So this is something you got to be committed to doing, right? It's a numbers game. As I said, over 10,000 letters every single month, right? I'm trying to talk to buyers. I mean, I got a whole staff of people on the phone with sellers all day every day right it's a numbers game but you don't need to do the kind of volume i do i don't anticipate you're going to do 200 million dollars worth of sales right but what you can do is you could rely upon me to break these things down and tell you what offers you'll be safe with and then from there right we just got to replicate the process throw enough out there to where we get some hooks back in flip the money flip the deal Move on to your next one and then keep that rolling. And eventually you can take that cash and put that into buy and hold real estate. This is a great way to get in the game, get started if you can't get the loans and if you get a very, very small amount of money. As for doing this like with no money, that's pie in the sky just like the other guru stuff, right? You got to have cash, folks. If you're trying to get somebody to take a $5,000 offer, they're just going to laugh you out of the room if you show up with like a hard money lender. Like, bro, you need a hard money loan for five grand? So figure out how to get five, six, ten thousand dollars $10,000 and then be ready to put in the time and the due diligence and I'll help you along the way. And we will try to put together a deal like this with me doing the majority of the heavy lifting for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.